Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Afiomi Yevamo Ktsadi Chet Amid Bet, the Gorot of Edegeir. Geshen Tkayik Katash Nol Dami, a Geir who converts. So uh, he's a new person. Theoretically, he can marry his sister. He and his sister both convert. They can marry each other. But the Gorot says that we should not have a situation that when they were Goyim, Noahides, when they know a man cannot marry his sister, and now. They have a Kedusha Israel and it's more lenient, cannot have such a thing, and therefore it is usur for a guy to marry his sister. And even if, uh, let's say, uh, they were married while they were a Goyim, it doesn't matter. Still, you cannot have such a situation where they go from the Kedusha of, of, of B'nai Noach, of Noachites, to come to the Kedusha Israel, and there's certain leniencies they have now as a Jew that they didn't have as Goyim. This, especially uh, when it comes to Arayo, where it's Aser there as well. They have prohibited Arayas as well. Now, let's say it's a couple, two Gentiles that are married. Uh, it's a fine marriage, not married to, they're not relatives, not brother or sister, regular marriage. And then they both convert. So, Allah of course, they can uh, be married as Jews. There's a few halachas involved. Number one, they have to wait three months. So that way we can know if she is pregnant, uh, did she become pregnant as a goy or as a gyorat? That's number one. And the Dago Meravava points out they need to have chupa and kedushin as well. So in Hechot Geirim, your day, Reish Samechtet, the Dago Meravava points out that they need to have kedushin and chupa after three months of waiting. And then in Evin Ha'ezer, Halachas of Ksuvos, Goes to the lachas of what is a ksuva of uh, such a case as well, where she does get a ksuva as well. So just in sum, what we have is when uh, they convert midoraita, they can really marry each other. They have no relationship, uh, brother and a sister. The Drabanan says, no, it cannot have such a thing. Uh, but really, regular goyim, not brother and sister, that are married as goyim, they can stay married as Jews, but the halachic marriage doesn't exist anymore, so they have to go ahead and wait three months to make sure there's no uh, the pregnancy to know where it's from. And B, they have to have kedushin. C, they have to have chopa. And D, they have to have a ksuva as well, as discussed in Hechus Ksuvos. Shalom.